Hey guys, Luby News here, and today we are back to play the fifth class trial. I'm expecting a lot of crazy twists and turns in this one for sure. So I recorded a good bit ahead, and I had to wait like almost a week to find out who is going to show up at the shrine. I still kind of feel like nobody's gonna show up, like neither Kaito or Oma's gonna show up, but I definitely do think it's Oma that's uh, underneath the hydraulic press. Went back and rewatched the investigation too to refresh my memory. I definitely find Maki the most suspicious. Um, some of me kind of thinks her and Kaido might have like tag team to kill Oma somehow. I'm not really sure on the details, but I feel like it sort of depends on like whether or not he shows up, if like my theory is right or wrong. Cause my theory was basically that, that uh, Maki and Kaido sort of teamed up to kill Oma because they wanted to in the killing game like once and for all and they didn't think that it could happen unless Oma died. And since we were sort of iffy on like killing him, she was like, okay, we just need to get this shit done <laughs> essentially. And I guess Kaido agreed to it. And so I was thinking that maybe Kaido kills Oma and Maki, you know, I guess sort of organized the whole thing. But uh, Kaido was maybe the one who like officially did it since he was inside the hangar and maybe he got killed somehow like while trying to kill Oma or something along those lines. Or maybe he is still alive. I don't know. Maybe he'll show up. I definitely think if anybody shows up, it's going to be him. But I do feel like it had to do with Maki and Kaido. And I guess like Himiko just helped them out. I guess maybe like there's that weird little subplot with Himiko and Maki being friends now or like Himiko trying to call her Maki roll. So maybe Maki was like, hey, Himiko, if you drop off this super dangerous weapon to Kaido, I'll let you call me Maki Roll. I guess Himiko probably didn't know it was in the bag. Well, she might, I mean, if she got it from Maki's room, she probably knew it was in the bag, but I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> like, I really don't know though. I kind of feel like she's a little too suspicious, but she was like acting so weird about um, saying that Kaido would kill someone, which is kind of making me feel like he did it, but maybe he like already died somehow and we'll find out how he died and that he killed Oma and that Maki orchestrated the whole thing or something along those lines once we get to the trial but I guess like I said it depends on if he shows up or not but that's like my thought process right now it's not very good I didn't really feel like I didn't really think this one out as uh strongly as some of the other ones uh, there's just so much stuff I'm still kind of confused on I feel like it's kind of like the last one where I had like a prime suspect but like not really any good reasons for thinking so other than like they seem the most suspicious or it seems like this is what the game would do or whatever else. But anyways, let's go ahead and I guess start talking to all these people. I didn't talk to them before, um, before I quit recording last time. So let's talk to Maki, prime suspect number one. Ugh. <laughs> what a great conversation. Thanks, babe. Truly, you are the best girl. <sighs> We're out of time. If I must. Let's head to the trial grounds. We need to settle our business with Kokichi. <laughs> He's not gonna show up, dude. He's dead. Oh, it's time. I'll go on ahead then. These are such long and intimate conversations we're all having. It's already starting. All of us, that means Kokichi will come too. You guys, yeah, no, I, I don't think he is. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure he's dead. Let's leave. It does seem like a lot of people, uh, not from the comment section of my last video, although I'm sure there'll be some there. I haven't posted it yet as I'm recording this, but on the one before, like the beginning of chapter five, I feel like a lot of people are kind of confused on whether or not I like Oma. I can totally understand why. I feel like half the time I'm like, Oma's the best character. I love him so much. And the other half the time I'm like, God, he's such a piece of shit. I hate him. I mean, it's kind of like both are true. I feel like with the best girl, best boy thing, I kind of mean more so like as best girl and best boy, like person to help out in the trials and like the best person that Saihara would think, like the person that Saihara would think would be the best girl or the best boy. Like I feel like from Saihara's perspective, like Kaido would be the best boy. And like after that, probably like Kibo or something. And like same with girls, it'd probably be like Kaide, then Maki. So that's why like I'll say that, but then like, with Oma, he actually just is my favorite character, even though he's a piece of shit. It's just like, I don't know, for me personally, it's kind of hard to uh, sympathize with kind of like the more crazy 
characters until, I mean, I've given a backstory, I guess. Like, I feel like I'm probably comparing him to Kamida too much, too. I do feel like they're very different characters, but, like, I feel like they are, like, both psychopaths in a killing game, so it's, like, the easiest person to sort of go to. But, like, with Kamida, like, I never really made my analysis as a way to, like, defend him in the sense of saying, like, oh, he's a good person, although I know that a lot of people use my video to do so. And I don't have anything against it if you want to use it for that. But, like, for me personally, I just kind of like to understand why characters like Kamida or Junko or Oma act the way they do, but I don't really feel like I need to empathize with them or anything along those lines or sympathize with them at all. I just like the characters because they bring the conflict, they have the most interesting, I guess, reasons for doing their motives, or the most interesting to think about and talk about in my personal opinion, which is why I end up liking them so much. But like, when, you know, some bad stuff happened to Junko in Dharma Zero that I can't really say because of spoiler reasons, you know, is like, I kind of feel bad for her, but at the same time, it's like, you're such a bitch. Like, it's, it's kind of impossible to feel bad for you. And the same with, like, Kamida when he died. It was like, I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, he did a lot of bad stuff. So, like, I, it's... Mm, eh, it's like, I'm sad that he... So it's like the same with Oma in the sense that, like, I'd be sad that he's dead because it's like, oh, man, I don't really get to see anything else with him in it. But I'm not like, oh, man, Oma was such a good guy. So misunderstood. I can't believe he's dead. You know, that kind of thing, I guess. If that makes sense. It's just hard for me to feel bad for him in a human type of way like I would with Kaido. Huh? This isn't everyone, right? Uh, um... Kaido and Kokichi aren't here. What's the point? I bet Kokichi is already there. You bastard. As the mastermind of the killing game, he's waiting for us to arrive. Uh... No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaido is alive. Cut it out. Do you want to die? Maki. Well, this is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I know I'll lose despair. See, she's like so headstrong on it. It's kind of making me feel like you, you did something, Maki, and you're trying to like cover it up. I feel like she would kill Kokichi, but assume that like afterwards the killing game would end and maybe she was surprised when it didn't end or something. I don't know. Lose to despair. You don't know? Six of us will participate and one of us will die after this class trial. Then only five will be left. Only five. Uh. Ting. That's right. We're the only ones left. That's obvious. But we can't lose to despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is the whole point of this class trial. I can't believe we have to do this shit again. I will defeat Kokichi no matter what. I have to sacrifice. Yeah. No matter what, she has to sacrifice. Are you sure about that, Maki? Is that what you call hope? Um... I know that we can't lose to despair. But something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaido would say at a time like this. What would he say to us? If it was Kaido... He would tell us to believe in the belief of our believing. <laughs> to believe in the... Um, let's go. No matter what Kokichi is scheming, there's no way we can lose. After all, we're students of Hope Speak Academy. That memory was kind of sketchy. The flashback light. I feel like... I like On second thought, I was like, maybe it's not telling the whole truth, you know? Like, maybe there's different parts of it that are true. I was trying to look back to see, um, I ended up like rewatching like almost the entirety of my last video just to try to remember everything and kind of look through like and get a rehash of all the important stuff that we got. But some of the flashback light stuff was a bit sketchy. I feel like it's sketchy that we're learning all this stuff in chapter five, first and foremost, like, it seemed a little too much like, I'm just gonna spoil the whole game for you. Like, what are we gonna do in chapter six? Like, <laughs> what the crap? But um, it also kind of seemed like, um, I was trying to make sure that it didn't say specifically that Kokichi was the mastermind. Cause I mean, Oma's not the mastermind. Like 
Let's be real here. So like, I wanted to go back and make sure that it didn't say that. I don't know the kind of the way they presented it. It made it seem sort of vague, like maybe it was just us essentially saying that like, oh, well, the remnants of despair did all of this and yada, yada, yada. So Oma must be a remnant of despair and he must be the mastermind, but we weren't necessarily remembering it exactly. I mean, I guess we'll find out in chapter six. It just seems a little bit like, why would they tell us everything in chapter five, you know? Like, there's gotta be some big reveal in chapter six, but I'm gonna stop rambling. You bastard. <laughs> Damn, Maki, calling me a bastard? What are you, a monocub? I'll defeat Kokichi no matter what I have to sacrifice. We can't lose. I'll sacrifice you, Sayara. It'll be okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'll be on my guard the whole time. Right. I'm filled with a combined power of hope and magic right now. Shuichi! Shuichi, I understand you don't want to believe it, but... Kaido's not here anymore. No, yeah, I definitely think they're both dead. Somehow. Uh, let's just find out. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Here we go! How did both of the best boys die? We didn't say a word to one another. Silent as a tomb, we stepped into those open doors. Yeah, I'm not really surprised that nobody showed up though. Good God, this elevator's so empty. Oh my gosh. We had lost the will to live, knowing what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? Sounds more like despair. As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Oh, wow. Like a Hope Speak Academy yes, version of the class nice. trial? What the heck? Oh, cool. It's like all Hope Speak decked out. Oh, nice. Is this the one from the fifth class trial in the first game? You get it? Because it's all screwy with the rules. Just like that one. I think that's what we're going for, right? Uh, a battle like this takes me back. After all, Hope and Despair are natural enemies. Yes, this is truly a magnificent theme. <laughs> Only esteemed works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. Why? Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Can't yeah, think that guy's the mastermind. It's obviously Junko again. Probably. Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What? What's going on? What are you scheming now? No. It doesn't matter what Kokichi is scheming. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. It's kind of weird them going after Monokuma being like, I know you're in there, Kokichi, you piece of shit. But it's like, totally not him. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but will never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of, no rules have ever been violated. Not on my watch, you know? Shut up. Whatever, hurry up and start. We'll end with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair no matter what. So get ready. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now let's get started. Mix equal parts, life and death, and add a dash of lies and truth. Bake it in fires of conflict. <laughs> and then it's golden brown and bubbling. You have yourself a truly decadent class trial. And once more, we face a class trial. Was the one who died Kaido or Kokichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe. Kaido wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. 
Where did you go? <laughs> it's purple. They're just like, <laughs> we don't fucking know if he's dead or not. <laughs> but I will fight to prove it. Oh, that's so weird. I wonder, I guess Omas will be purple too. They both sort of have like a purple theme. I will fight with everyone. Yeah, this is purple too. To grasp the... <laughs> it's kind of funny, Sahara looks scared and he's like, It's only me and Oma left on this thing. Somebody please save me. To grasp the hope on the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight in this class trial of truth and lies. Okay, so it's just showing the... I was wondering, I was like, I bet they're just going to show, I guess, Kaido's... Uh... Show Kaido's sleeve in there, right? <laughs> the mastermind Kokichi. <laughs> yeah, fucking right. Like, I believe that. Okay, I know what I freaking want out of this thing. I want that machine gun. Uh, is it this? Shit, I wanted this so bad now. <laughs> I expected to get to hang out with Kiba one more time. We've been getting like five of the free time event. I really want to trigger happy. I totally forgot. We didn't get an extra free time event. So I can't get this stupid thing. Okay, I'll just get the silencer then, I guess, instead. Eh, or machine gun. It says I already have it, so I guess I'll just set it. Okay, I'm just gonna set that one thing that I got, because I really want the trigger-happy thing for the sixth class trial, and... Damn it, I thought I would get it for this one. Balls. <laughs> I was, like, really banking on getting five free time events this time, but oh well. Guess that's <laughs> the problem of playing these games blind, you know? Okay, I'm just gonna talk about all the events once we get to it, but for now, let's just go ahead and start the class trial. Woo! Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> this is gonna be like all old school. Ahem! Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. Oh, we can see their little things. monetar has got the little uh, star thing all around his. <laughs> Minosuke has got the Jersey Shore shells. Monodom's got the, I think he had like bolts or something in his. Then, oh crap. What's his face? Uh, the Ibuki one. <laughs> That's just kind of how I remember him. The ex-Kiss bandmate has the little lightning bolts and uh, Monophy has the flowers. It's so sad, so tragic. All the best boys and girls are the Monocubs. I'm sure every top five characters post on Amino. It's just all them and every every single post. Ahem, now then, let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. Oh, During this the thing. trial, you'll present your arguments for <laughs> who the culprit is. <laughs> the and question who marks. Who done it? Oh my gosh. I can't believe they put question marks on Kaido's. I bet they did on Oma's too. They just put like a little crown on Oma since he's Ov's the mastermind. It's just so obvious. Wait, I want to see when it gets to his. Yep, question mark. Ooh, so mysterious. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you I'll oh, punish fuck. everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless huh. here. We already know that. Dang. I was gonna say I was like, I always accidentally interrupt Monokuma, but then Kibo interrupted him that time. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. Yeah. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Yeah, Kibo, live up to your hoge power. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Get it? Cause I am too! <laughs> Seriously? What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, don't make that face killer! This case has some unique circumstances. Killer. Unique circumstances? Cause for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances, I decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. Okay, so they just gonna show up like halfway through then maybe? Like, once you find out it was Oma that died, you're gonna have Kaido show up and I'll just be like, hey, bros, <laughs> Monokuma kidnaps me or something. I don't know. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. I mean, usually they like conceal things in the Monokuma file because like it'll make the case too obvious. So like, I wonder if it is that like, 
if Kokichi died, then it has to be Kaido, and if Kaido died, it had to be Kokichi type of thing. Like, they would be the only people who'd be able to do it. It definitely seems like with the slash marks on the barrier entrance thing, though, somebody else could have gotten inside at some point, though, you know? So, I don't know. But the barrier was up again, so it probably used one of the bombs. I feel like Kaido probably stole one of Oma's bombs and used it so Maki could get in there. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, stop overthinking things! Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Don't worry. The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. Okay, okay, so it is that. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving! I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind. Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Dang, Maki is so suspicious. Everyone thinks that Kaido is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaido is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Hell yeah, let's do this. Non-stop debate. I hope I don't suck at this like I did the last time. <laughs> like if I was press press Kaito's coat. The victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. And the culprit must be Kokichi! You lost a really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast revive spells. Oh man, it's so nice to have like the automatic bullet thing for the silencer. Oh my god, I needed that so bad. There's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or the survivor. It's too early to declare who the victim is. The victim has Evidence to be There we go. And I just barely missed the V like I always do. I'm always like on the edge of it. So annoying. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes, and look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. <laughs> yeah, a lot of blood stains. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. True, true. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. Dang, she's so suspicious. Maki, did you do something? As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Y yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence thingies. Eh, uh, not so much. Why don't you guys ever listen to me? I'm always right about everything, jeez. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe Kaido is still alive. Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaido's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaido is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Hmm? What about them? Is it the hole in the sleeve? There's something peculiar about those clothes. 
The owner of clothes, the sleeve of the jacket, the blood stain on the clothing. I like the sleeve, right? Because it's the hole, right? Yeah, I think. Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? Oh, or that. <laughs> I was thinking he was talking about like the arrow hole. If Kaido had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should <laughs> Already, dang. Okay, let's do this. Huh? You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Dang. What evidence do we have? That'll show down. Want to file hydraulic press guys? Coat, swipe, pattern, blood stain. Sticking out of the hydraulic press. It's rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito, if you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. Yeah, she's just trying to say that he had his sleeve out. Ugh, no, damn it. Crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. Maki's claim appears solid, but I know that's it. that it's not. She's wrong, we can't conclude Kaido is dead on that evidence. She's just trying to say that he's dead because like he wore his jacket weirdly. That's kind of what I was thinking when he was saying that. I was like, well, he kind of wore his jacket weirdly. So like, and I guess it could be him. It was just that was the part that hung out, but but she's wrong apparently. She's wrong, we can't conclude Kaido is dead on that evidence. There we go. I get the V on that. Oh, sweet. What if you guys said they're like, she never tries the V on the rebuttal showdowns. I'm so bad at these. I'm just happy when yes, I get them. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. Yeah. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Dang, Maki, like, what? It, like, this is why I'm like, you did it. Like, but she's almost acting too suspicious, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was. She kind of like flipped out when we said like, well, maybe Kaido could have done it. She was like, no, no, never. Not my husband, though. He's dead, Sayara. Let it go. So maybe she like, I don't know. I kind of feel like it might have been Kaido that did it. And she's trying to like cover for him or something. Because I mean, it's obviously Kokichi in the press for sure. But I don't know. Like, I feel like they did it and they thought that they were going to save everyone. And it's like ending up that it's not going to be the case. And now she's like scared since he would have to get executed or something. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? Seems you've made up your mind that Kaido is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? I don't know, maybe like... The way she's kind of acting with this though does kind of make me think maybe she is in denial maybe more so about it than what I I don't know. She's just acting so suspicious. It's hard not to think it's her or that she's like involved with it somehow. But her being like, let's bring Kokichi out. It's kind of like, why would she say that if she didn't believe it truly? Unless like it is like, you all fucking die if you vote on the victim too. Like, are we going to have to vote on the victim and the culprit in this one? And then it's like, oh, we all die if we vote the victim wrong. But Kaido gets to live, you know, if he was the victim. I mean, not th <laughs> if he was the culprit kind of thing. You know, maybe, maybe it's that. Huh, already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present now that he's the subject of our discussion. 
gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Oh, is he actually gonna do it? I thought we'd have to like vote on it or something. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! Is Kokichi gonna actually show up? Or is it gonna be Kaido? It's gotta be Kaido, right? Oh, whoa. Exosol? What the crap is going on here? <laughs> He's gonna stay in the Exosol until we decide. An Exosol? Uh. What? Why is an Exosol here? Haha. <laughs> Whoops. Uh. My bad. Seems I knew like it. I gave you guys a scare, huh? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Yeah. Kaito? Oh. There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an Exosol and kind of dozed off. <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? <laughs> Hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid. <gasps> what? Just a lie. What? what is going on? <laughs> uh, is it like voice recordings of them or something? Oh my god, this scared me so bad. <laughs> I really am the mastermind. I just decided to spoil the whole game in chapter five. Oh my god, what is going on? Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never. No way. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Kokichi? Is it though? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. <laughs> Beautiful singing voice. Oh my god, 10 out of 10. Wow, that's old. How old are you? <laughs> I'm as old as time itself. I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. Oh man, if she really doesn't know, like, I don't even know what's going on. That's super cruel to do to Maki, though, if that really is him in there. I don't know, I feel like there's, like, voice recordings or something in there that they're using, but, like, they're saying what they're saying, like, goes with what's going on, so it's like, uh, how's Monokuma doing that? I'm so, so confused. I'm so, like, mind screwed right now. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. <laughs> True. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. Oh, in the hangar? Or him getting in the Exosol or something? I don't know. This is all so hard to believe. I thought for sure he was the one crushed by the, the hydraulic press. I mean, it made more sense for that to be the case, but <laughs> this is so mind scary. They already showed they could do Kaido's voice in the robot, so it's like, why couldn't they do Kokichi's as well? But uh, this is th uh, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh my in god. The house, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. Okay. What, what did you say? I'm gonna spoil the class trial too. Spoiling chapter six wasn't enough for me. Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Oh my god. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? <laughs> oh my god, this is so crazy. Okay. Monokuma grabbed the camera from the Exosol, hooks it up to the courtroom's monitor, and played the tape for us. I'm scared. What is this? 
Okay. And so it is showing Kaido. <laughs> oh god. Can't fake that, right? Oh man. Okay, never mind. My whole theory was stupid, I guess. I don't know. This is so crazy. It is like so different than I expected it to be. Oh man, poor Maki had to see that. Jeez. Oh, poor Kaido. Huh? Oh. Kaito? Making us watch it happen like that is kind of fucked up. This is terrible. Why would something like this? Oh. I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. Oh, I know. It's kind of fucked up to make us watch it like happen like that, you know? Oh my gosh, is that really... I don't know, I'm like so unsure of like everything. Because I mean, I guess if like the flashback lights could be faked, then like maybe these could be faked? We don't have confirmation that they're faked or not. I don't know. I stop overthinking things. Okay, Monokuma, okay. I'm just gonna watch for a little bit, I guess. I have no idea what's going on. By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. Oh, I'm just so trusting. Of course you all believe that, right? This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause buttons so you can't edit after filming it. Okay. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer! This is so weird. I have no idea what's going on. This is so different than I expected it to be. Oh my gosh. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the academy! See? If it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible! Which means this footage is 100% real. Okay. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. The murder video has been recorded in the monopod. View it from the truth bullet menu. I want to look at that right now. The video is shot with a camera from the Exosol. It shows the moment Kaito is crushed by the hydraulic press. Okay, that's all it says. Oh, this is so confusing, and my mind is so twisted already, and it's like, we're like 10 minutes into this class trial. What is going on? Oh, oh my god. Was that, was that really him? Oh, poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. He died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. That's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my barf over to you. Let's maybe hold off the magic jokes for a while, Himiko. I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... <sighs> Why? Why was Kaido killed? Kukichi had no reason to kill Kaido. He had just told us all that he was the mastermind, that the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaido? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yeah, this whole thing is so sketchy. And yes. weird. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... <laughs> We're about to all vote on Kukichi and die, aren't we? You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died, which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? <laughs> For real. Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. Oh my god, I say that every single class trial. <laughs> I swear, I feel like he has said that he's the culprit in like 
every single class trial. I know he's in the first one. He said in the last one. I think he said it in like the one before that too. <laughs> I'm always the culprit and the mastermind and the victim and the exosols and the monokumas and the best girl and the best boy. I'm everything. Omnipresent. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like I did something wrong, like, and I'm about to get, like, a bad end, like, we're about to just be like, oh, well, fuck me, I guess it's Kokichi, let's vote, and then it's like, no, guys, please, am I, did I do something wrong, am I getting a bad end right now, was I not supposed to choose Kaido's jacket, ugh, here's the truth, I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaido, of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown, to jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. You're such a fucking liar, Kokichi's Exosol ghost or whatever the hell you are. So does that mean you admit to the crime? <laughs> he does this every trial. I dug my own grave again. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Oh no, is he about to go all... My beloved, ah. <laughs> She's so beautiful, I love Junko so much. <laughs> Junko? <laughs> He's gonna be like, who's that? <laughs> It's voting time now. Let's go before Kokichi changes his... <laughs> it's like, is he really gonna be like, who the hell's Junko? What the fuck are you guys talking about? No, hold on a second. This isn't right. <laughs> oh, thank God. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. I think that like maybe the mastermind is screwing with this class trial and they somehow got like a voice replicator for Kaido and for Oma so they could just kind of like fuck with the trial. That seems kind of like what's going on here. Like maybe the mastermind, maybe Oma was trying to like stop the mastermind and some like really over the top convoluted plan and like it didn't work out, but like it scared the mastermind enough to where they would feel the need to like after a killing happened or whenever the killing happened. I don't know if they would be involved in this or not, but like to just try to kill us all off at once and to try to screw with the class trial to the point of like, like, well, here is irrefutable evidence to show that Kokichi died and you should all vote for him. And then just, you know, for us to all vote for the wrong person after we get like something that looks like 100% you know, proof and then kill us off after that. That's the only thing you can think of that maybe it was Kokichi that was trying to like stop the killing game in some way by doing all that mastermind crap. I don't know. I definitely think the mastermind's controlling the Oma Kaido Exosol bot or whatever it is. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Seriously. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. One of us? That's not possible! No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. 
But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. <laughs> I just like fucking with you guys. Even in death, probably. I don't know what's going on right now. Am I a ghost or what? Seriously? What the hell is going on? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. It's a lie. Yeah, first, that was a lie. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's almost like it's the theme of this game. It's fine, because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. The only option? Maki, what are you on about? Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? This is so weird. Is he gonna participate in the non-stop debate? <laughs> Charlie press safety function, blood scene in the bathroom, crossbow murder no video. There's no doubt that Kichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is... Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Kokichi killed Kaito with a hydraulic press. That's the consensus right now. But is that even possible? There's no doubt that Kokichi. Yeah. That's wrong. Take that, Himiko. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. So was he already dead when they did that then? Is that what it's trying to imply? Because yeah, I think it sensed like that your body was warm or something and that was how it stopped it. Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. Yeah. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. And he was dead apparently. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. Yeah. Why did they take his arm out of the jacket? So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? Because he obviously got shot with the jacket on, because you can see like the hole on his sleeve that he was wearing and the one that he wasn't wearing. Weird. But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electro bomb. No, I don't think Kokichi would use an electro bomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. The arrows, right? Or, well, there's the poison, but that the antidote. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I don't know, I just totally thought it was... <laughs> I just, like, totally thought it was, uh... Oma, who got killed in the press, so I'm like completely turned around. Like, was I really that wrong? Like, dear God. Could also be the poison, maybe, but the antidote was drinking. Somebody drank the antidote, so probably not. Uh, whatever. What? Yes, there is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Okay, he's talking about the drag marks. And I thought he was saying to like, say a murder weapon. I was like, do we have enough evidence for that? Jeez. Okay. This is it. Here we go. 
There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hanger, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Yeah. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaido was being held, wasn't it? I'm still like not 100% convinced that it's Kaido that's dead. Cause like even the blood pattern, I feel like makes so much more sense for it to be Oma's body that was dragged cause he got shot in the back. You know, I don't know. I, I find it really hard to believe like Kaido's body didn't even look that bloody. I say they're both dead, but like Oma was killed first. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. I might have to, let me look at that video again. Was there a blood drag stain in that video? Oh, there isn't. There's no blood swipe in the video either. So like, is this completely fabricated? Like, what the hell is going on? I don't know. I definitely think there's something fucking suspicious going on here. Maybe I was right originally thinking that they were both dead though. I don't know. Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the bloodstain even was Kaito's. Yeah. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but... We do have evidence that suggests the cause of death. Oh. This thing, right? There! Still don't think it's Kaido in there. The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. The, the small hole? No, no, no! There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon. Maybe they crushed Kaido first, and then they dragged Oma in there and crushed him. And I guess they killed whoever the culprit is. It killed two people. Because, I mean, like, there is definitely a blood drag after, you know, Kaido was killed. So it has to be something like that. So maybe, what did they do with Kaido's body? Or, like, are both Kaido and Oma in there? And that's why they, like, unplugged it, you know? With my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left that small hole in Kaido's sleeve. Oh, it's gonna do that. Crossbow, right? Weapon that left the small hole. Want me to say the three arrows, the crossbow. Balls. I do crossbow. This is it. Okay, good. I was like, do you want me to be really specific and say the arrows the or <laughs> found in the bathroom? Okay, okay, I was like, yeah, yeah, right. Okay, cool. <laughs> a crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. <laughs> oh yeah, because she was the one who brought that. So maybe, I feel like she probably doesn't know what's going on, but she does know that. I like, I don't know. I'm really thinking it was like Maki that did this. She's almost like so suspicious that it's like, I don't want to think it's her, but at the same time, like, I can't really imagine it being anybody else. I'll try to stay open-minded, I promise. It won't be brainwashing 5.0. Probably. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? But yeah, I bet Himiko didn't know what she was bringing the crossbow for or something. Like, she didn't know, like, what happened, but she feels guilty for doing it or feels, like, suspicion will fall on her if she brings it up or something along those lines. She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaido getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair.
<sighs> Hope? Despair? What is all this bullshit? I thought our theme was truth and lies. <laughs> so she's like, Junko and Ashima? Never heard of her. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? What's the bathroom crossbow after yours? Who shot Kaito with the crossbow? <laughs> he is gonna be in that. Guys? <laughs> Cheeky little. You could have done it. The shot would need to be fired. From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. Oh my god. If we couldn't go in the <laughs> So happy I got this thing. If Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. Kaito would have been in there, but the murder weapon was a crossbow. Knowing that, we should be able to visualize the murder. So, okay, I'm guessing Kaido is dead. And it's the first thing I was thinking of. I wonder who shot Kaito from inside. Here we go. That's wrong. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! How exciting! <laughs> But, put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit, is that it? Why are you being so, like, hard on me, Maki? Is that what a detective does? Jeez. Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? I mean, I had to kind of kill Kaide earlier, so... It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. I'm just trying to save everybody's ass like Kokichi said in the last one. Maybe he is the best boy, jeez. The only person that believes in me. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I... Didn't know about the window. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure, you didn't, Himiko. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole, too? <laughs> Calm down. See? Now that's definitely weird. Sounds like something Aruma would say. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. Yeah, yeah, fucking right. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Get her, Kibo. <laughs> well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. <laughs> God. <laughs> Let's all vote. Don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. That I do agree with. What? could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. 
Okay, I thought Maki would have asked Himiko to bring it. Why did she bring it then? This is such a confusing class trial. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! Don't you remember Karekio's trial when he started going like ballistic? Became super obvious then. But yeah, I thought that she would have brought it because Maki would have told her to. Now I'm like interested to know why she did bring it. Are you secretly crazy, Himiko? I'm just kidding. I would never drop the crazy word after Kaide. Kokichi's the suspicious one! Oh, Maki too! We are both the culprit! Why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm <laughs> suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Oh my god, I hate you, Kokichi. <laughs> Maybe I am the culprit. Who knows? <laughs> I hate that. I love you, Kokichi. I should like your log. Small empty bottle. Cute. Because I, 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 I was in the hangar. If you were the crime scene, did not come from the crossbow. I know it's a good idea. Then who acts the number one suspect? I'm the one who shot Kaito! We should look at the inconsistencies in her testimonies. There's a lie somewhere. Yeah, I didn't get the V though. <laughs> I get so stressed out that it's about to like disappear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. I got that one V, so. You said that you went to the hangar empty handed. But that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's, it's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. <gasps> no! I didn't... Oh, no! I know everybody's gonna be screaming at me. <sighs> I didn't attach Maki's skill. Fuck, no, I totally forgot. No. Oh, God, I'm so pissed at myself. I want to die. No, I'm so mad at myself. Oh, no, I was so excited about that stupid thing, and then I totally forgot. I was so upset about the trigger-happy thing, I totally, completely forgot to attach it. Oh, my God, I know everybody had to have been screaming at me when I set my, set my uh, skills. Fuck me, no. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, I hate myself. Oh, God. <laughs> Weeby, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> Thanks, Ihara. You, you always know what to say, best boy. I hate myself so much. I was so excited about that stupid skill. Ah. Uh. Oh, my God, I hate myself. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. N no, that was probably Sumugi cosplaying as me. You already got that out of the way in trial one. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. Okay, so it seems like Maki didn't know about that. I, I have no idea. I'm gonna stop saying theories until we get more evidence. I really... I have no idea what's going on. All I know is that I totally fucked up and screwed myself over with the monocoins thing. I wanna die. What? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Uh-oh. Well, it's decided that- <laughs> Oh my god, he's gonna do it again. So Himiko's the culprit. Every single person we suspect slightly. I'm just gonna be like, let's vote. It's already done. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there. I didn't shoot it! I wonder why she did bring it, though. It's the truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! That is true. But can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. I'm not the culprit! 
Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm hmm another true statement. <laughs> Kyokichi just that's agreeing with all. everything. I didn't do anything else in the hangar. 100% exact, Amundo. I'm Himiko's number one fangirl. <laughs> yep, it's all my fault. <laughs> Tenka is not here, so I got a fangirl over you, Himiko, in her place. To hit Kaido with the crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good with it. Could Himiko have done this? That's the question. Yeah, she couldn't put it together. There we go. Okay, good. I really need the trigger happy thing. Like with some of these action things, I'm just not good at timing it right. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Yeah. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. It would have to be Maki that killed Kaito then, if that's the case. Because she was the only other person who knew how to disassemble it besides Saihara. Are we gonna do that again? No, we're not. <laughs> I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Unless it means she assembled it and somebody else took the shot. Or he assembled it and somebody else took the shot. I don't know. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? She didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? Oh god, she's gonna go completely silent. You are suspicious as hell in this trial, Maki. Like, what did you do? You have some serious involvement in this case. What's wrong? Are you mad about before? I'm sorry. I thought they were going to suspect me. So, I lied. Okay, so there was something going on between them. She did give it to Himiko then, like I was originally thinking. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. I'm sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! It's just like I said! Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! <laughs> You're acting pretty suspicious, homegirl. She changed back so fast, I think I might have whiplash now. Then, why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Asked to? Perhaps the person you asked was either Maki or Kaido. It'd probably be Kaido, because even though my head cannon's Maki, I don't really know that I have a great opinion for it other than, you know, well, I guess what they were saying a second ago, too. <laughs> Kokichi's got a little Exosol next to him in his thing, because I'm not Kokichi anymore. I'm Exosol Kokichi. I'm Kokichi, but stronger. I think Kaido did say something about, like, oh, I won't let you guys, you know, do stuff while I wait around. So, is it really Kaido? I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna go with Kaido. That's it. Okay, cool. It was just their conversation a second ago. Was it like, Kaido? It was making me think that maybe it was Maki, but yeah, it makes more sense for it to be Kaido. Huh? Kaido? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and no. <laughs> nah, uh I hate you. But I like you. What? I thought I liked Saihara. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. To think that Kaido asked Himiko to do that. 
Maybe Kaido is trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't you worry, I'll do something about all this. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought I remembered him saying something like that. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. Then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. <laughs> I thought you liked her, Kokichi. Don't bully the person you like. <laughs> this is way beyond bullying a great school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? I did this whole thing just to get Himiko to ask me out. That's really what this is all about. Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Now that wedding part really was not was not needed in the explanation, Himiko, but thanks. Um, that one part was uh you know what? Never mind. <laughs> yeah. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No. He said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow, then went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returns fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. Yeah, but Kokichi definitely got shot with a crossbow too. They look like pretty bad wounds as well. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. Yeah. And there's proof of that. This is it! Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. So Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? It almost seems like, you know, they both got shot and maybe like somebody else took it out and put it all in a pile in the bathroom because there's only three co crossbows that were used and there was only three holes that we found on both Kaito and uh, Kokichi's body. So it's almost like all three of them were used in the battle or whatever, and then the culprit or somebody else, like a third party, took them all out and just put them on the floor in the bathroom, because that's a great place to hide evidence. And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Mm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. This is the stuff that makes me think you did this, Maki. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Not you, Oma. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. Doesn't matter what happened in the middle. She's so obviously suspicious, you guys. Come on now. And in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. Jeez, like that. What the crap? No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Like she's too suspicious. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. Maybe she wants us all to die because of what's going on on the outside and like everything else is just a ruse or something? You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it 
bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. There's a lot of them. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. <laughs> For real. What? <laughs> I'm fucking dead. What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. Okay, so that's what it is. Yeah, I was like, I don't trust that Kokushi's still alive. Because there's so much stuff that still doesn't make sense. Still think they're both dead. That's that's what I'm going with. It what? Ha, because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. Who the hell is in there? But no more. Sorry for the wait, guys. The luminary of the stars has arrived. This time for real. Oh, good. The best boy has returned. Who is in there? I mean, like, whoever is in there enjoys fucking with us, which is why it's like, it can't be Kaido. But it's probably not Oma, because there's so much evidence to show that he's dead. So it's like, uh, is the mastermind in there? Like, what the hell is going on? I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. Uh. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? I'm starting to think, maybe it is like the mastermind that's in there. Would that mean it's somebody who's already died then? Or died? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you Oh no. Me? Don't do that. Don't say that. Don't. Oh. Don't call me that. This is so sad. Uh. Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this exercise. <laughs> yeah, you know that injury when he just completely crushed my entire body with a hydraulic machine? You know, that injury. I'm just slowly, slowly but surely overcoming from it. Don't worry about it, guys. It's just but a flesh wound. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Oh my god. Kaido is alive after all? No, maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is that really true? What story does the evidence tell? Did that story end with Kaido or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question, and soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victim of this case is... Oh. Okay, never mind. Maybe they're not both dead. Most of the evidence now shows that Kaido is the victim. Oh. Wait, what? So, I don't know. Kaido? I'm trying, I really am, but I don't think of anyone other than Kaido. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaido. I, I still think they're both dead. That confused me, making me choose between one. I feel like there is, you know, some lingering evidence that it's Kokichi, though. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die. Oh, are we doing the <laughs> thingy majig? Good, good. This is already more entertaining. Now, 
show, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. Who's gonna be on my side? All right, let's give it everything we've got. I don't even know who I am anymore. Oh my god, this is so crazy. I still think they're both dead, but I guess they want me to choose a side for this thing? That's like all I can think of. Because I feel like there's just the evidence we haven't looked at yet that proves that Kokichi is dead too. I don't know who the hell is inside the suit. Kokichi. It's Kaido. Oh, Maki's on my side? Oh, yeah, yeah. I suspect would. that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Maki! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Maki! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the mastermind, but... I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Why are ah, you balls. So I was so close! Alive? I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the mastermind, but... When we aren't consistent, our position looks weak. We have to work together. Just me and you, Maki, even though you fucking hate me right now. In order to get to the truth, we have to accept it. Kaito is dead. I suspect that okay. Kaito is Kaito Maki. The mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Yeah. Why are you so opposed to- I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Hell yeah, me and Maki. Okay, let's do this. Uh, smash. Uh, yeah, button smashing powers go. That was so easy. That was like a really easy one, ding. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence... The evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. Oh, bro. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must... Then the oh, one crap. here is... Dang it, I keep doing that. I accidentally keep pressing it. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi... Then there must be no mistake. It really is kind of like, well, if Shuichi said it, it has to be true, because he's right at pretty much everything. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Back to Kikichi. That was just a little joke. <laughs> oh my god. You guys got pranked again. You guys make it so easy. What a sick joke. You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic, why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. <laughs> Look at me dancing back there. <laughs> what is the XSL doing? <laughs> Just smashing invisible stuff? <laughs> what the crap? I agree, but what do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, 
Then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Yeah, I think that'll definitely help. Hey, I said, why are you? Alrighty then, let the debate begin. Press for three years, Electro Bomb used Electro Hammer press Poison. What was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. <laughs> I really messed that I up. I the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Crap, she testified. Yep. Only one arrow was fired. So how could they That's both it. shoot each other? By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. What? What was that just now? I feel like that goes against the information I have. When the crossbow fire, Fucking Koki Chi. Yeah, that's I exactly it. <laughs> you guys are all so I smart. I just agree with everything. One. I'm such a fucking troll. Only one arrow. That's wrong. Why even try for the V? I didn't even get Maki's stupid thing. I'm so mad at myself. Wait, Himiko. <sighs> what do you mean, one arrow? Well... I only gave Kaito one arrow, so... What? Oh, okay, so she only gave Kaito one arrow? What the fuck? Are you positive? This is a really confusing case. Of course! There's no way I got that wrong! Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one! Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. Okay. Who brought the other two? Ah, oh, suspicious. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said she only brought one. What is going on here? Seriously. Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? I'm just so OP that I know everything. I know everyone's actions before they do it, Kibo, don't you know? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. Yeah. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Then where did those arrows come from? I don't think that Himiko is lying. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think. I need to think. Hangman's Gambit, I guess. Oh, Psych Taxi. Okay. There we go. How many arrows did Himiko give Kaido? One. She gave him one, and yet there's three. Yeah. <laughs> Stay on the road, Sahara. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my little portrait. Sweet. I'm famous. As I should be. Of course I am. That's a frame leader of an evil secret organization. I go completely off the map. That's cheating. <laughs> oh, I don't like these cubes. Uh, uh. Oh no, the hidden Monokuma! I missed him! No! Wait, where? All the arrows inside the hangar from the start. Probably not. No. I'm gonna say no. Right? Yeah! Oh dang, these are some fast moving cubes. There we go. Who brought the two arrows? Third party? Okay. 
Well, I was thinking Kaido, but a third party works too, I guess. Yeah! <laughs> Those cubes sucked! <laughs> Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So, someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? <laughs> to fucking kill me, of course. Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. I mean, I guess he wouldn't have known that he would have had the... that he would have been captured in the first place. So, I don't know, maybe it wasn't Kaido that asked for it. I don't know. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so it probably wasn't Kaido then. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. The killer. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off, but can we confirm that? I feel like there might be another way, some way that we haven't figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think, think. What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Really don't know. Maybe did they find out the password? I don't know. Hangman's Gambit, okay. I kind of figured that was what it was gonna be. Exosol? Oh, Exosol. I really know how other people do this, but I just kinda guessed with the first letter. <laughs> figured it out from figure it out from there. So see the E, I'm like, oh, okay, Exosol. <laughs> okay, so use the Exosol. Yeah, because you could use the hammer to uh beat the shit out of the it and get in there. The Exosol could be used to enter the hangar. Okay, and that's what Monokuma was saying about, like, somebody else knows about this, uh, but I'm not gonna tell you, kind of thing. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosol. I saw an Exosol enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? Okay. By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an Exosol? I love how like sassy he is with the Exosol. He like waves his arms and stuff like, ah, is there a person that could have let me put my hand behind my head in my Exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Does it be a hassle to leave the Exosol every time you have to put it away? So it's like Shuichi said? A third party got in an Exosol and entered the hangar? But can just anyone pilot an Exosol? Well, Kokichi? It's surprisingly easy! If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. Both nipples? What kind of kinky robot is this? <laughs> nipples too! <laughs> anyway, this third party commandeered an exosaw and infiltrated the hangar. So I just sounds so done with Kokichi shit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so sick of this guy. <laughs> that same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Maki, you keep saying stuff's impossible when it's totally possible. She's so, like, level-headed normally, which is why it's, like, 
you did this, didn't you? But it's like too obvious. Like, I don't know. Oh, huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's not possible. Oh, Maki. What? Not possible? Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why did you kill Kaido and Oma? <laughs> it really it seems like too obvious that you did this at this point. Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Unless maybe she knows who did it or something and she's like trying to cover for them. Why won't you tell me? I thought I was like your backup husband though. What the crap is this? Kaido's dead and I'm still not good enough for you? If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? You know, you just gotta use your nipples. <laughs> Lots of nipple movement. <laughs> that is it. And they were all moving too. I was controlling them remotely. Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. There's no way to stop an Exosol. So getting inside one would have been impossible. You're right, it's impossible! <laughs> and nope, you just gotta use your nipples. <laughs> it's not impossible. <laughs> There's one way to stop an Exosol. I have to show them. If someone was piloting the exit, that's wrong. And <laughs> I just barely missed the V. Not really good at aiming those things. If I could have finished Kibo's free time events, I could have aimed them. The electro hammers were being charged. I know because I found one. I was saying that because some of you guys said that Kibo's free time events let you lock on to the V counter. Is like, oh, that would have been so nice. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Is that electro hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. I'm so proud of you, boyfriend. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? Um, do we have enough evidence for that? The identity of the third party is probably Maki. I don't really feel like we have a whole lot of evidence. Well, I guess, I guess, because she's the only other person who knows how to use the crossbow, right? Why'd you have to die, bro? <laughs> Why'd you have to get killed by your girlfriend? The electro hammer gives us a clue. I saw four exosols at the scene yesterday when I went to meet up with Kaido. Oh yeah, it had to be Maki. Because she was the one who showed up and was like, I don't need an electro hammer because I got knives. Okay, so yeah, that does prove that she did it. Yeah, okay. I saw four exosols at the scene yesterday when I went to meet up with Kaido. This morning, when we were trying to get into the hangar, there were three. Culprit must have used the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us that I think could do that. Why, Maki? You were like <laughs> the second best girl. Why do I have to always freaking, I don't know, kill you guys? I mean, it is like we're not at intermission yet, so like she's almost like too suspicious. I think she just knows what happened, but like doesn't want to say exactly what happened or something. I have, I don't even know who's inside the Exosol. Somebody was like, maybe it's the mastermind, but maybe it's like, I don't know, like a Makuro Ikasaba that was like among the group that like is helping the mastermind or something and like fake their death. I don't know. I know this, I know they're asking for me to do Mac Maki, so I'm just gonna go ahead and choose it's that you. four minute at a time from 
rambling. Maki. Yeah. You're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? I'm starting to think like she didn't do it just because she's so overly suspicious and we're accusing her like halfway through the trial. But like she definitely knows what's going on. I feel like she did want to kill Kokichi, you know, even though nobody else wanted to. I guess that's why that's what her game was to go ahead and try to kill Kokichi because she knew everyone else was going to be on that hope bullshit. That bullshit that Kaide used to talk about when I just need to go in and get things done. But uh, I don't know. I'm starting to think that she can't be like the culprit culprit though, but she probably knows as well what happened or I don't know, maybe she just didn't want to admit to not wanting to do the whole lol hope plan. I just thought she was the one that organized it, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe that was a part of her plan. What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. But be careful, the Electro Hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an Exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. <laughs> Got it? The Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning, Maki, where's your Electro Hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Why did you leave it right outside of the crime scene, Maki? That seems pretty dumb. This is much better. A knife. Well, I suppose you know best. Maki was the only one without an Electro Hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. Do you gonna guilt trip me again, Maki? How could you suspect your friend, Saihara? She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Why didn't she put up the Electro Hammer, though? That really does seem odd, because she would have had plenty of time to. Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lap, disabled the Exosol with an Electro Hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after- I'll kill the magic. <laughs> oh no. She's got her killer face. Why are you doing this? Why are you getting so emotional? What? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you- Yes. What is- I'm the third party. Oh, she admits it. What is up with you, Maki? What did you do? Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an Exosol, and then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! Maybe she just saw what happened. Rebuttal showdown. I mean, we got a rebuttal showdown, or so maybe she did kill, try to kill somebody at least. You're right. I used the electro hammer, and I used the exosol to enter the hangar too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I'm not the culprit because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. The crossbow is not the murder weapon. What do you mean? The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations Dang. of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. Oh, it's going so quick. I don't want to think that Maki is the culprit. I want to believe her. But the way she's scrambling to defend herself... The arrows left holes in their clothes. Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Okay, there we go. For your words. I wasn't really sure about that one. That was why I didn't try for the V at all. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit, if it were poisoned. Okay, so she put the poison on the arrow. Interesting. The poison? 
I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was also the antidote that was there, though. I mean, like, it didn't say it was the antidote, but it definitely looked like it was the antidote when I was comparing it uh, while I was rewatching the investigation. So, so maybe she, like, accidentally hit Kaido when she was trying to get Kokichi, and she went back for the antidote, and that's why that other bottle was in there, too, because it definitely looked like an antidote um, bottle when I was comparing it to, like, the other antidote bottles in, um, in Saihara's lab. So that's what I'm thinking right now. It's probably just, like, an accident, and maybe she wasn't able to cure him in time? I don't know. I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation, because that would make sense why she's being so, like, um, I don't know, like, she doesn't want to reveal it, you know? There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal, no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? I just did my rebuttal showdown, Kibo. What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you... really the culprit? Th there's no way she is! Cause... Why would she kill Kaito? Ah, I can't understand if you don't explain anything! Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Fighting Monokuma? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Even murder, probably. Maki is trying to right? Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. No, oh, me? <laughs> so silly, you guys. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant- She meant all of us? Oh no, Maki! That's kind of screwed up. Okay, so that's what she was getting at. She was trying to- Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's such- Such a cold move, Maki. I was kind of like, at some points, like, is she really trying to get us all killed for some reason? That's why I was like, maybe Kaido is alive and like, he did it. And that's why she was trying to get all of us killed and then so he could live. But if that's, if this is the case, it makes sense too for her to just want to kill Kokichi so bad that she would lead us off track and just be like, okay guys, let's vote now. Like every chance she gets so we can um, vote and Kokichi can die alongside us, right? The sacrifice that Maki is talking about must be... us. <laughs> Damn it, Maki. <laughs> I thought you were best girl. She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Kaede would never have done this. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined all thanks to Shuichi here. <laughs> thanks, boyfriend. I get to live another day, even though I'm probably already dead. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. <laughs> Let's all die and kill that piece of shit! <laughs> Human sacrifice! Let's sacrifice all of ourselves! Wait, what the fuck? Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? You guys really want me dead, don't you? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? <laughs> this honestly is, like, crazy, though. Like, oh my gosh. Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. 
he knew about the plan too. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Oh yeah, we became bros again. Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. Aww, poor Kaito. I miss him. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. Here we go. And so, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. Don't just start narrating things. You're ruining <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I love that. <laughs> I just wanted some screen time. Oma's been hogging it all up. <laughs> Oh my god. Ew. Well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. Subscribe to Weeby News for more hope-filled videos.